looked right yeah, at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so you want me to start from the beginning of what I just did yeah. and do that all over again? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. I think I've reached my limit. <laughs> you kind of cut that out. Of the head. That was a joke. <laughs> Fact shrink. I just looked at the camera. Hang on. I'll, I'll just I'll just roll and see. And let me know what happens. Back in, in 2009, I started this company uh, kind of by accident. I, I am a guitar player. I, I had an amplifier that broke. I needed to fix it. I happened to be an engineer as well, and I was intrigued by vacuum tube technology. So uh, I uh, I learned how, how it all worked and, and, and fixed the amplifier and decided I could build one of my own as well because I had some time and money at the time. I built an amplifier and then a lot of people uh, that, I, that I hung out with, a lot of other fellow musicians wanted a, an amp of their own. And then I found myself designing custom amplifiers for people. Eventually I, I realized I could build my own ultimate amp and uh, announce myself to the world. Sales started coming in, next thing you know I had a, had a company. We were building all the cabinetry and everything by hand. I, I was doing it personally. And all the, the metalwork chassis and everything I was ordering from the machine shop, everything else we just did in my basement. It became apparent that we really needed to get a CNC. Yeah, when, when, I, when I started down the path of uh, researching CNC routers, uh, I, I, I realized there was a couple different ecosystems in terms of the control. And a uh, PC-based control or an embedded control. And it, it became apparent that a PC-based control would give me a lot more flexibility when it came to downloading files and operating the machine and making changes and adjustments. So it's all right on the same computer. And I don't have to put anything on a USB stick and I don't have to mess with a, an embedded control that could give us some problems. Uh, and I talked with a few different brands and it became quickly apparent that ShopSaber was uh, just a very personable, easy to work with company. It didn't seem like there was gonna be any sort of uh, you know, hidden fees and, and, and things that, that uh, would, would be negative. And then we, we purchased this machine right here, which uh, is, a, is a 4896. In addition to the PC control, I knew we needed a, a tool changer, we needed a vacuum table, and, and I wasn't able to option this machine out with a lubrication system, but I added one of my own. The power I needed for the machine, I was running everything on single phase, and uh, everything just worked perfectly. It, it really enabled us to, to grow and uh, produce a lot of components in-house I never dreamed of being able to produce. By the time uh, 2019 rolled around, it was apparent that my shop was too small. We outgrew our shop. I found this building that we're in now and uh, went through the process of getting a commercial loan. And so about six months later, it was finally done. And I purchased this building, but things were, things were growing incredibly uh, fast in the music products industry. Our sales were all time high and it uh, became apparent that we needed another machine. And I also happen to have the space now. You know, started talking with ShopSaber, it just made sense to have another machine that's the same brand. Why, why have two, two different, you know, systems to maintain that are, that are you know, dissimilar. Um, so I, because of our industry, we use a lot of five by five Baltic birch or Russian birch, depending on, on what you want to call it. And on our 4896, we could still fit a five by five on the back half of the machine, which was great, but we couldn't fit two. On, on our 510, we can now fit two sheets of five by five and, and cut two cabinets at once. It's fantastic. So it's not only is the machine twice as fast in terms of its rapids and then the spindle is 11 horsepower and it, all the things that come with it being twice the size of this machine, we can also put twice as much material on it. And then the fur further fringe benefit of it was because we use this machine for aluminum cutting as well, we, we have actually just left it set up for aluminum. So at any given time, we can run aluminum, we can run wood, we can do it simultaneously. And uh, let me tell you that the moment where these two machines kicked off and were running at, at the same time, that was, uh, that was a cool time. I mean, it just brought a smile to my face to see both these machines running and uh, just kicking out parts. From the beginning of this this venture, doing as much as I could in-house has always been pretty important. And, and from, from a number of reasons, uh, quality control and, and just efficiency of time and uh, any sort of changes and things that need to be made can be can be handled very quickly. And currently we, we do everything under one roof. Uh, we bring in raw material, raw wood, raw aluminum, we bring it all in and, and finished goods come out. And it's, it's a pretty impressive situation to be part of, to be able to, to do that all right here in Ohio. The only thing we don't do is anodizing. It's, it's pretty cool. And we, we, we employ a lot of people here, a lot of different skills. And everybody here 
shares a, a similar passion for for what we do and, and the things we make and it also happens to be really cool to see our products on stage or in a magazine or uh, you know on YouTube you know it's the uh, all over the internet you can you can find our products or products that we make for other companies that would normally be built elsewhere and imported to the US instead we can build it right here in Ohio and uh, for, for other brands other companies that may not be based in the USA but um, that's now a product that is not being imported. We're, we're building it here locally. And with, with ShopSaver being up in Minnesota doing something very similar, uh, our ideals just align and it made sense. If we were to have a machine that was uh, imported, let's say, it could be days or, or weeks before we get parts, it might be days before you even get an answer. That means a lot in terms of production. If we're relying on these machines to produce and, and produce materials for our downstream employees to be able to build cabinetry and, and ship things on time, then that's that's all very important. So it's 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 a satisfying experience to to be able to get up and running quickly uh, if there ever were should if there ever should be a problem and, and we've had very few problems. It can be uh, a bit daunting when, when you see all the different things that, that you can add to the machine and then the costs associated with them uh, might be a little frightening as well. But hundred percent don't don't forego on a, on a tool changer. An automatic tool changer is the best best thing you can get. Uh, same thing with the vacuum table. Um, with those two things, you can you can eliminate a lot of problems and a lot of headaches, and uh, uh, you can increase the speed and efficiency of your production just dramatically. It's a, it's just a, a night and day difference if if you have a tool changer versus not. Um, Pop-up pins are also very useful. Just having that repeatable stop, th those things I would never, never uh, forego on a purchase. I think for anyone who's looking to get into CNC uh, or maybe maybe has some trepidation, uh, I would start by just hit, hit YouTube, look up VCarve, look up CNC routers, look up Shop Saver's YouTube channel. And uh, there's a lot of cool tutor tutorials out there that talk about programming and talk about uh, setup of jobs and things because I think that is the that's the part where people are, are probably the least uh, knowledgeable or skilled you know when, when they haven't gotten into CNC there's just so many unknowns and if, if the person's not very good with the computer there's a lot of challenges um, I think any any sort of uh, anxiety toward the, the purchase decision would be would be really geared toward that that side of things like the CNC itself it's gonna work it's gonna cut it's gonna do what it's told um, but uh, but get good with your software. They're all learning experiences, and as long as you take that and, and use it as as, as uh, you know, build wisdom from it, uh, then then you'll you'll have success, and, and you'll you'll never question yourself, and you'll buy a second machine, a third machine, a fourth machine because you'll see how great they are. Without these machines, we wouldn't be in this building. We we wouldn't be producing these things uh, that we're producing. Uh, they're, they're fantastic, uh, take the plunge.